Welcome to another episode of Out and About with Rosanna Ferracci. This month we've got a special episode where we take you behind the scenes on the making of the Ultra Tune ad with Charlie Sheen. I also talk to the brain behind it all, CEO Sean Buckley from Ultra Tune and Christian from 500 Media, the production company who puts these ads together. And of course, the Ultra Tune Girls and Warwick Kappa, who's starring in this ad. There is no denying these advertisements have been a masterstroke over the years. You can either love or hate them, but one thing is for certain, they've definitely got your attention. Not many companies are able to get international talent on their ads, but Ultra Tune have been able to do it time and time again with people like Mike Tyson, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and now Charlie Sheen. Make no mistake, the talent has not been chosen randomly. They are picked to raise a few eyebrows and rustle a few feathers, and that's something they've certainly done. Now it's time to take a look at some of the advertisements they've done so far. He's got car troubles. Big trouble, guys. Yeah! JCVD! OMG! Yeah! No, I'm a kitty cat, silly. No! Mike Tyson? World champion. Oh my god. Have you ladies seen Francis? You know my tiger, king of the jungle. Oh. Our trouble? No. Tiger trouble. trouble. Avoid unexpected situations. Ultra tune roadside assistance. So yes, they're definitely interesting. And day one, I started off by talking to the mastermind behind them all, CEO from Ultratune, Sean Buckley. Now, you've had these Ultratune ads. They've been an extreme success. How did this vision begin? Well, I was, uh, we'd, we'd run some other campaigns before and we had a vision to do something different. So I, uh, I scoured the world with my staff looking for something irrelevant and something, something different. And I came across some ads in America called the Trunk Monkey, where this car would sell a car with a monkey. And it, was, well, uh, it sounds stupid, I know, but they're actually quite iconic. And these ads ran at 21 in the series and ran across America for a, uh, for a long time. And they depicted a number of monkeys uh, helping people. So, for example, if someone tried to steal the car, the monkey would get out of the boot and clop at the person. Or if a copper, a police officer arrested the, um, 
the suspect for the driver for speeding, the monkey would get out of the boot and offer a donut and cash to the <laughs> to the to the police officer. So I looked at all these things and I thought, you know what? Why couldn't we do something like that? But not with a monkey. That's just too much copycat. Let's use that idea and try and theme it to something that people remember. So then we came up with the idea of having some girls in the car, having an unexpected situation, which led to disaster, and they get saved by a a guy from Roadside Assist, and that was fine for a while. And we thought, you know, we'll up the ante a little bit. We'll start bringing some high-priced, high-talent end actors and, uh, and fighters on board to save the day. So we took it up a notch, and that's where it all started, and that's where we are now. So it's, it's grown momentum. It's, it's pretty iconic, actually, the number of responses. We've increased the girls from two to four now, and they're all very popular. So that's what we ended up doing. So that was, that's the original origins of where we started with that particular... Um, series yeah and john claude van damme was the first person you used why did you pick him well we weren't sure it was going to work yes. okay so um we, we we limited our budget in terms of what we could afford for talent and it wasn't cheap don't get me wrong but i mean charlie sheen compared to van damme's a little bit more upper level um so and more expensive and more iconic so we started off there we got great feedback and then we sat around the table after we did van damme and said who else can we get in here that's going to cause controversy and etc. And confliction of values. I mean, this is all about, we moved on to then confliction of values by looking at people who had sinned, if you like, for the word, <laughs> who had sought redemption, had got redemption, and then could be examined and looked at with conflict because you've got a person who's done the wrong thing or, or made a mess of their life, but they've then cleaned their life up. So you've got the haters who remember what had happened and you've got the non-haters who love them. So you get this conflict of emotions and that's what we decided to move to. So Tyson was that way and uh, Charlie Sheen's that way too. They've both made mistakes. They've, uh, they've redeemed their lives. They've, they've got, reached out and helped others, which is great. And then we thought that would be the perfect scenario for us to get that conflict on our commercials and get the people talking about it. And we've achieved that very well. Hmm. And can you tell me how you can, came up with the concept for today's commercial with Charlie Sheen? Like, he's a, a massive Hollywood actor. He's very good at acting, so I guess you can get him even more so involved. Well, yeah, well, he, he, he's a genius, let's be honest. He's, he's, he's really, he's really uh, an amazing talent. Just on the set here, like, he, he went to the producer and director this morning. <laughs> we're shooting. He said, you know, I've got a better idea for this. A, I've got a different angle for this, and I think I can put a new line in there. So... They said, oh, it's an amazing idea. I said, oh, so I just come back and said, Sean, can we change this? Go whatever Charlie wants, let him go. You know, so he's a, he's a very, very talented man. Yeah. I can't wait to see the ad. Is there anyone else you can tell us that you have lined up for the Ultra Tune ads? Yeah, well, I, uh, I got caught in the platform the other week for an interview and sort of Warwick Cabot put the squeeze on me because I did need someone on the boat, <laughs> uh, a second person on that boat. And I was looking for the person, and, and Warwick said, I'll go on the boat. And I was like, you know what? Actually, he'd be quite good. He's perfect. He's perfect, you know? So he's on, he's on the ad and uh, on the boat today. With, with, uh, they're, they're fighting over who's more star power, of course. <laughs> you know, Warwick says he's better because he, he was a football star, and Charlie thinks he's better. So we'll see who's better in the acting. Of course, Warwick doesn't know yet. He's got no speaking role. So he's, <laughs> no. so he's going to lose already, but I haven't oh told him God. that yet. So he thinks he's got a big speaking role. So, uh, no, that's good. We, those two are on there, and we've got some, uh, some other talent we've got in here. Yeah. So it's a good ad. It's about a car and a problem again. <laughs> and Charlie saves the day. Okay? We, we're the same old, same old scene. You know, like, and we don't change the winning formula. So, so who are the other people we can see in your future ads? So we've got two or three on the go. We've got a famous boxer yes. who's interested in, in going on there. Uh, he's he's made a lot of mistakes, but he's also redemption very famous. So top of the top of the tree, <laughs> and uh, we will look at him, and we've got a couple other. We've got a wrestler. We had to deal with one of the famous wrestlers, a famous famous yeah. one, a female. So we're looking at that as well, very closely. Kind of excitement on the set for that one. <laughs> yeah, there would be. She's pretty famous. So uh, we're looking at that. So I've got a few ideas, but you know, we just want to continue the series, and I, I think we'll know when the time is up and we stop. I mean, here we are on the front page of papers doing this ad not many other people get that for their company out there so we're obviously doing something right to, for people that would be that interested right? otherwise you know there'd be a thousand commercials produced a year I don't see them in front page of papers interviews everywhere so we've obviously hit a raw nerve with the, with the people in Australia yes. and, and with, the, with, with all, the, all the pundits and all the people out there that, that we have funny ads and they're worthwhile so you know we're doing something right and we're getting all this exposure so it's all, it's all for our brand okay and the, the, the question is you, you, you're going for exposure 
brand awareness, but you can't damage it too much. Yes. And some people say we are, and, and some people say we're not. The, the figures don't show that we are. What we're doing is we're shock value and, and reaching out to people in their emotional level about the ads and their anger, and we get so many responses for that. So in that sense, we're, we're hitting that market with, with that feeling. So we've got to keep going in that route. So the question is, you know, who's the next person? But once that, we, once we feel we're not hitting that market anymore, and it's a waste of time and it's done its thing, we'll just stop it. We'll, we'll finish it. Well, you've been very successful. You've got 280 stores, centres all over Australia nationally. For everyone who admires you and they want to be as successful, what are three tips you can give them? Oh, look, I've been moder- I've been reasonably successful. I wouldn't say you know super successful, but the thing is to do something you love. I always say that to people: don't do something for money, do something for your love. And and sometimes it's very hard to do that when you when you're working a nine to five job and you don't really hate it. You hate it and you just want to work nine to five and get out there at five o one in the afternoon. It's very hard to preach that, but that's what I always say: try and do something you really love, and then the money will flow up. Most of the time, follow after that. You know. And that's, that's my only tip for people that, that I did. I mean, I, when I went through and I went to university and I went to my first jobs, I was working second and third jobs and other projects on the go to try and be successful. And I, and I failed the first time I did that. I mean, I lost a lot of money and I went, went under. So so you've got to take the risk. So I took the risk, didn't work out, I learnt my lessons and then tried to bounce back and get it right again. So eventually I got it right from trial and error. So it was doing something that I wanted to do passionately, you know? And I think that's a, that's a key to, to being reasonably successful in life, yeah. There you go, great tips and advice from the mastermind behind it all, Sean Buckley. Next, we talk to the stars featuring in the ad. Don't go away. Welcome back to Out and About with Rosanna Faraci, where I take you behind the scenes on the making of the Ultra Tune ad with Charlie Sheen. Now, I've just finished chatting to the mastermind behind it all, CEO Sean Buckley. Now, it's time to start talking to the stars who feature in the ad, starting off with the man himself, Warwick Kappa. You're featuring in the ad today. I think it suits you really well. Thanks, love. I do admire your honesty. It's going to be fantastic. I'm um, friend of uh, Sean's. I'm Warwick Kappa, captain of the ship. So you're captain of the ship, and do you know what you have to do today, or is it your natural character? You're not actually acting. I think it's my natural character. I had a lot of experience on Neighbours. I was in that six episodes with Neighbours. Yes. Home and away, fortress. I was a nude convict. Um, Twenty thousand legs under the sea. It's been a great journey. And what do you have to look forward to the most today? You're working with Charlie Sheen, one of the biggest Hollywood actors. Who do you think's more famous, you or him? I'm probably more famous in Australia, but he's probably more famous in America, so it's a lovely... I'm actually older than him, but oh. I look about 38. I must say you're looking really fresh. About Any be- About 42. Now, you've been in all the ads. What, which ad's been your favourite so far? You know, I would probably have to say the Mike Tyson commercial so far because we got to travel for it. You know, we went to the States, we got to hang out, um, and we just got to have an all-over good time in Vegas after the set was finished up. And you've met Charlie Sheen. What do you think? He's a very relatable, down-to-earth character. I mean, I I I had a really good conversation with him. He was easy and, yeah, he was just an easygoing, normal guy. And do you know what they have in store for you today on today's filming of the commercial? Well, I hear that it's going to get wet. (laughs) And look at your hair. You're looking beautiful and they're going to drown you. Yeah, I know. I'm so devastated. That's why I made sure I got my one photo. (laughs) One photo before we got wet, guys. So, you know, had to do it for the gram. Now, you've flown back from LA. You've been living there. Tell me, what have you been up to there? How are things going? Things have been really amazing there. I mean, I know that that was my place and that's where I belong because, you know, I'm definitely their market. I've got this sort of look where you can't really tell what nationality I am kind of thing and they love that because they can use me in basically anything. They don't know if I'm Spanish, American, uh, Colombian. They don't know what I am, so it's always good. And um, basically uh, a few weeks back now, I scored a role with um, MTV and um, I'm doing 
uh, the MTV Wild and Out uh, season 13. I'm just going to be a Wild and Out girl. So that's always a good start and um, other opportunities have already come from that because I did a live show with them uh, in the Staples Centre in Los Angeles and yeah. Now Imogen, you're a bit of a rookie. This is your first ad. Are you excited? You've met Charlie. Tell me about him. Uh, I am a rookie. This is my first ad doing a, doing for Altitude, so I'm very, very excited. Um, meeting Charlie is exciting too. Did, he's actually very, very down to earth. Didn't expect that <laughs> at all, um, being so fam- as famous as he is. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's exciting. It's been fun. It's been a fun day so far. And you've also recently come back from LA and you've shot a few covers. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh, it's been a whirlwind. I have been, I don't, I just don't even know the word to explain that. <laughs> it's actually been, um, it's been all very last minute, very crazy, very exciting that we've just somehow put it together and made it happen. <laughs> and what was your favourite cover? Oh, they're all so hard to choose from. I love them all. <laughs> I actually really love them all. Um, probably the one that's coming up that's the secret at the moment that I can't tell. Okay. But it's exciting. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see it. And Tiana, you've been in all of the ads for Ultra Tune. Tell me about the one you did that was your favourite so far. So I've done the Mike Tyson ad, which was last year shot in Vegas. And then obviously Charlie Sheen right now. Because we haven't finished the production with this one, I haven't actually worked on set with Charlie. I'm not really sure who's going to be the winner, but I do know obviously Charlie has more acting experience than Mike. So I guess he'll be a little bit different on camera. (laughs) And what would your favourite part of doing the Ultra Tune ads be? Just being on set, acting is something I definitely want to get into. So being on set, meeting the production teams, everything that's involved is a good learning experience, I think, to move forward in my career. And you've also come back from LA, so we'll be seeing you. And you worked with famous photographer Arthur. Are you allowed to reveal about the shoots? And I, I did see some Insta stories of you in Melbourne, and it was ice. Tell me about that venue. So we shot at an ice bar. I can't really reveal too much more, but it was yeah. minus 15 degrees, and I was there for about two hours in bikinis, in the nude. It was probably the hardest photo shoot I've ever done, but really rewarding. I loved the photos. I can't wait for everyone to see them. There we are, the stars in the ads, the roles they played and what they've been up to. Next up, I talk to Christian, the boss of 500 Media Group, who gives me an insight into what goes on into the making of these ads. Don't go away. Welcome back. Now, for those of you who have just tuned in, we have a very special episode where I take you behind the scenes of the making of the Ultra Tune ad with Charlie Sheen. If you feel you've missed out, you can always go to my YouTube channel where I upload all my episodes after they air on Foxtel. So far, we've spoken to Sean Buckley, CEO of Ultra Tune and mastermind behind the ads, the Ultra Tune girls who feature in the ads, Warwick Kappa. Next up, we speak to the man who turns these concepts into reality, Christian from 500 Media Group. Sean Buckley came up with the concept, which obviously has been a great success, but for you to make it happen, what do you, what goes into it behind the scenes? There's a lot of moving parts to, to get these executed well. Uh, we're trying to do something that's challenging out there, uh, high impact, very engaging, uh, and of course, you know, becomes a talked about ad for uh, f- across Australia. Uh, the, and it, it does become a balance between working out, well, how do we achieve these elaborate things like blowing up cars, dunking them in water, uh, or, or, or running them through a car wash without going absolutely crazy on, on budget, which can happen because we, we do have, make sure, have to make sure we're safe and secure along the way. Um, so really what our team does is work through, well, what are the objectives that we're trying to achieve and that, that, that Sean would like? Uh, and how can we do this in a manner that's actually going to have the impact we want and, and do it safely and, and, and to a reasonable cost. I did notice the girls always get wet. What about the car wash? Did any of your equipment get damaged? 
Look, we had uh, th- throughout the car wash and the car explosion. I think we we blew up uh, two or three cameras in the explosion on the muffler ad, which was which was quite good. We nearly lost a drone in the air, um, uh, but uh, in the car wash ad, luckily luckily none. And and obviously in the uh, in the in the car dunking ad with Charlie Sheen, uh, we did have a couple of GoPros that went through that did uh, go through for a bit of a wash. So uh, tell me about the Charlie Sheen ad and when Sean came to you with the concept, how did you put it together? Charlie Sheen was amazing. He was absolutely excellent to work with. Uh, when when Sean uh, mentioned this to us, we, we were absolutely ecstatic to work with Charlie. Uh, and then, of course, too, we've, we've, uh, we've got a little cameo there of Warwick Kappa, which, which really, I think, adds a bit of icing on the cake. And did you find because Charlie Sheen's an actor, it just brought so much more to the ad than the other ads? Yeah, that was one of the one of the things that that our whole team noticed was great about working with Charlie, and that was that we did have our concept uh, that we that we'd work together and storyboard and put together. And on the day, he actually does bring a lot of creativity to it. So we made a few tweaks along the way, and that actually had all of us in stitches uh, at the last minute. I, I do remember at one stage, Sean could not stop laughing, and you had to tell him off because he was having such a good time watching him perform, and his expressions in. It was so. How many takes? Less takes with Charlie Sheen. Oh, uh, look, you know, with Charlie, he actually was a one-take wonder. The only thing was, was that was a retake might have been because he actually came up with a funnier line, and every time he'd come up with a funny one. So there was a couple of takes there, and I think in the end, uh, what you can see in the final ad was 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 what we all settled with, and that was actually what Sean uh, Sean couldn't contain his laughter with. So now you've done the Charlie Sheen ad, and you've done a fair few. What would your favourite ad be, and why? Great question, Rosanna. Uh, I love blowing a car up. That was my <laughs> highlight. Uh, however, I do think that we've really just stepped it up a considerable notch having Charlie with this with this ad. And of course, we do have a ninety foot yacht. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> there, we, we uh, this the production quality and storyline in this is probably by my by my my uh, in my opinion the, the the best we've done to date. Uh, and we do we're already in talks trying to work through what the next ad's going to be. And uh, and and again, we're going to up up it up it there again. There you go. It was great to get an insight into the filming and production side of what goes into these ads. But now, time for the much anticipated moment. Let's check out the Ultra Tune ad with Charlie Sheen. You girls, I can't wait to go for a swim. Hey, check out those boats. Wow, they're so big. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. And I'm all out of towels. Winning. Breaks down. Oh, that is terrible. Do you have a phone? No. Selfie. <laughs> we do these all the time. Avoid unexpected situations. Get your car serviced at Ultra Tune. Ready, Skipper? Ready, Charlie. Boat trouble? No, car trouble. Definitely the best ad so far, but now I'd like to use this opportunity to thank CEO Sean Buckley from UltraTune, Christian from 500 Media Group, the UltraTune girls, Warwick Kappa, Arthur John for the video footage. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.